This is a video about GNU Parallel, the Pakistan release. I'm Ole Tange, I'm the author of GNU Parallel. So far GNU Parallel has been focused on replacing a single loop. The Pakistan release introduces a way to replace nested loops. As an example, I will be using the image manipulation program Convert from ImageMagic. This command will convert foo.ping to JPEG with a size of 800 and a JPEG quality of 95. With a for loop, that can be done for a list of files similar to that. This is the kind of loops that GNU Parallel is really good at replacing, doing it like this. To get the images in three different JPEG qualities, you can use a nested for loop, like this. With GNU Parallel Pakistan, you can do the nested for loop in a single command, like this. The new is that you can use the triple colon multiple times. GNU Parallel will then generate all the combinations and execute the command with these combinations. The squiggly 1 and squiggly 2 will be replaced by the relevant input sources given here at the end. To get the three different JPEG qualities in two different sizes, you can nest the for loop even further, like this. With GNU Parallel Pakistan, you can replace this nested for loop with a single line, like this. GNU Parallel Pakistan will again generate all the combinations of the input sources here given at the end, and run these jobs in parallel. You can also provide the arguments in a file. So here we will put the arguments into files. And this will then do the, exactly the same as above, because we're giving the files here using the quad colon function, which will read from these files. But you can even mix the triple colon and the quad colon. So this will actually do the same. We'll be reading from the files, PNG files, and then we will use the arguments here given as input sources at the end of the line. You could also have two files that you're reading from, the ping file here, and have some arguments that you are given on the line, and then another file here at the end. The special file, dash, reads from standard input. So this will do the same. Here we're giving the file dash, which means that the first file, or the squiggly ones, will be replaced with whatever is on standard input, which is the output from NS. And this is probably one of the ways that you're going to use this feature, because that can very easily be combined with find, like this. So the output from find will be read on standard input, and we here tell the parallel to read standard input and replace that as squiggly one. Finally, I would like to say thank you for watching. If you like GNU Parallel, please post this video on forums, blogs, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or maybe some mailing lists you are on. Please join the mailing list, request or write a review for your favorite blog, maybe your own, or a magazine. Request or build a package for your favorite distribution, if it's not already there. You can also invite me as a speaker for your next conference. If GNU Parallel saves you money, please donate to the FSF. Or, even better, have your company do that. If you use GNU Parallel for a publication, please use the citation given below. Find more about GNU Parallel at GNU Parallel's website.